Hi guys, back with another update on Virtual Desktop. This is now the official released update for the beta that I covered previously. And I've already gone over the 10-bit, the H.264 Plus and the 120Hz normal mode. Um, I don't know what Magic Virtual Desktop has managed to work this time, but in my initial impressions when I changed scene like this, I was having a lot of encoding latency and pretty much could not use it on my network setup for the 10-bit for the mode. This is now working and it's holding 120 FPS solid at 35 milliseconds when I'm not recording. So I have absolutely no idea what magic they're doing over at Virtual Desktop, but this is incredible. Um, as a DisplayPort snob, I'm actually saying this is incredible. So with Pico 4, you're going to have to push um, a bit higher resolution, but New Free Link is equivalent to the Quest 2 on the actual resolution settings that you get. So I'm at Ultra, I've got 120 FPS, I've got the bitrate maxed out, um, the Snapdragon game super resolution enabled, but it's not actually doing anything because I'm at Ultra. Space Warp is disabled, sharpening's off because that makes the image better, um, for me anyway. Um, that is personal preference when you're not using the, the upscaling. Um, yeah, this is just incredible. So I'm not sure what else I can see uh, without going into the desktop to show that it's in the 10-bit mode. Um, there's not much else. So I'm, I've not got automatic adjust bit rate on. I'm just pushing my network. It's only a 5 gigahertz router, but even still, this is amazing. So let's get back into my game here. So yeah, we've had the recording. We're at 35 milliseconds, and that is um, something that's in Half-Life Alex as well. So when I'm in Beat Saber, I can actually play Beat Saber at the 10-bit mode um, at 120 FPS, which is it's crazy how I can do that. Um, so every other streaming solution has to catch up to this. They have to implement this because this is this is just so clear. Um, not seeing the, the color bend in the sky, and now he's worked his magic, and I'm no longer getting any uh, massive encoder latency. Um, this is a RTX 3080 Ti, so it's still a powerful-ish GPU, um, and it was struggling before in the beta. So he's definitely done some tuning. Um, whether it looks as good or not, I don't know, but then again, it, it wouldn't matter because I couldn't actually use it before. Um, so this is, yeah, a vast improvement, and I highly suggest you guys update your NVIDIA card, uh, GPU drivers, get the new update, and make use of this, because, yeah, this is, uh, this is something very special. So once again, thanks for watching, and thank you very much to the developers at Virtual Desktop. I don't know how you guys do it. Cheers.